having a problem with my 280ZX running rich. So I'm checking fuel pressure. When I turn the key on, as you can see, I'm getting good fuel pressure. When I turn the key off, fuel pressure is dropping. It's not holding as it should be. So the problem is either the check valve in the fuel pump allowing fuel to go back to the tank or I've got a bad fuel pressure regulator allowing fuel to get back to the tank on the end of the fuel rail or I have leaky injectors. So to try to verify you'll notice this fuel pressure gauge has a shutoff valve. Turn the pump back on. As you can see fuel pressure is dropping. If I close this valve fuel pressure stops dropping. That valve isolated the injectors from the fuel pump. So I verified that my fuel pump check valve is not leaking. When I reopen the valve it drops down some more. So my problem is in between the gauge which I have mounted between the fuel filter and the fuel injectors. Uh, my problem is either leaky injectors and or a leaky fuel pressure regulator. Hence, we'll move on to video part pressure two. The pressure regulator is at the end of the fuel rail. Again, fuel from the fuel pump pressurizes the fuel rail. It's a straight six engine. And at the end of the fuel rail is the regulator, which regulates pressure in the, in the line, generally between 40, 50 PSI on this vehicle. It is vacuum modulated, hence when we have high vacuum, we are not under load and we don't need a, as much fuel pressure. So our vacuum actually lowers fuel pressure in the line. When I disconnect the hose going to the regulator, the first thing I did notice uh, was I have fuel, let's try to angle that, I have fuel on that hose. I should never have fuel on that hose. Fuel should enter the regulator from the fuel rail and then unused fuel is going to flow back to the gas tank. Um, I, as you can see, I've got fuel dribbling out of the end of the regulator right now. And I have no fuel pressure because the fuel pressure in the line dropped. When I key up my fuel pump, as you can see, there's fuel now leaking out of the regulator. Normally, with that vacuum hose on the regulator, the fuel would flow through the vacuum hose and into the intake manifold. So it's not like we would see it leak. However, this is a definite source of why the vehicle is running rich. Once I replace that fuel pressure regulator, then if my pressure leaks down on my gauge, the only other option besides having a puddle on the floor and I think the customer's complaint would not be the car's running rich. They'd com complain that uh, there's a puddle underneath their car that smells like gasoline. The only other option would be leaky fuel injectors. So my next option, I have a regulator. I will replace it, and I will get back with you for video part three. Back to work we go. As you can see, we have a brand new fuel pressure regulator on the line. Tried to mount the... Uh, fuel pressure gauge as close to it as I could. Key it up, fuel pump on, no leaks out of the new regulator, that's good. And it looks like that regulator is regulating, I know you can't see the number, but it's about 42 PSI. Um, of course we have to check it to see if it holds pressure once I turn the key off because if we don't hold pressure now, then my issue would be leaky injectors. To uh, see what pressure the pump has the ability to put out, if I close this valve once again, you can see the fuel pressure goes up over 80 PSI. So the fuel pump does have the ability to put out 80, but we're depending on the regulator to regulate it down to anywhere from 40 to 50 is fairly typical on, on these cars. You don't want to leave it in this position very long. It's referred to as deadheading the pump. That high pressure, if you had a pulsator in the line, 
could possibly damage it, um, but the fuel pump cools off by gasoline flowing through it. And when I deadhead the pump, I'm blocking fuel from flowing, so you don't want to leave it there too long, otherwise you could overheat the fuel pump. But uh, so far, so good. What I need to do now is if I turn the key off or turn the fuel pump off, does the fuel pressure hold? The fuel pressure is holding right around 39 PSI. So, um, looks like our fuel pressure regulator was the culprit. I am seeing a little, just a slight drop off of pressure. Uh, of course, we don't want, after about a minute or so, we don't want the pressure to drop too much. There isn't a spec as to how much. But so far, I can see that uh, so far, so good. Good diagnostic. Uh, pretty easy to find. It's just a matter of remembering to periodically pull the vacuum hose off of the fuel pressure regulator. That would be right here, so I'll put that back on. The manifold pressure would lower our fuel pressure in the line. Uh, and if we had a supercharged car, manifold pressure would be higher than atmosphere, and that would push on that diaphragm, assist the spring, and raise fuel pressure when we are um, running at uh, uh, boost pressure. Well, hope you learned a lot from this video.